Okay, we're back again. Welcome back. Great. Um, it's been a long minute and have not been um, able to make a couple uh, more videos for you guys because of several work related issues that's been going on that have kept me away but I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to be making videos and today we'll be talking about the C70's firmware update hidden features features nobody's talking about I'm not talking about the raw capabilities or the presence of the interval recording which by the way it's a beautiful thing now because I can take a small camera now if you want to know about all these other features there are several YouTube videos online that you can actually go do that but after the intro, we get into it. Hit it. Recently, Canon actually released, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so recently Canon actually released this camera, gave it a new firmware update and it was actually really cool because it added some super cool functions of adding the raw capability which gave us two different compression of raw, the raw standard and the raw light that varied in um, bitrate and how much you could actually get in somewhere compressed that allowed you to uh, um, record more while the standard was less compressed than um, the raw light, the raw LT that's actually built in camera. Before that, we we're used to the XAVC which was pretty damn good for the most part of it and they added a whole bunch of functions like the interval recorder, recorder which allows me to now take a small camera like this and do time lapse which can fit into your motion control rigs and all those other smaller rigs you've had before that you actually use for time lapse but what could be cool though i wish canon if you can hear me we actually actually uh, allowed us to actually have the raw recording for the time lapse which will enable us to actually get in more details from our highlights more great shadow retention and more depth in the color like we have more color information to be to work with that would have been super amazing and now to the hidden function prior to now the c70 has the ability to load up your own custom lookup table that's actually created for it for this you would have to make the lot to conform to the color space of the camera which is either c log 2 c log 3 pq hybrid log whatever it is you're doing your output and your input transform has to be aligned so that's a separate process if you want me to like make a proper video on please leave a comment below and we'll be able to make a video on that so um having created your own custom lots normally before the updates you could actually load them into camera and actually have them baked into your footage that was a great workflow for those who want to do fast turnaround music video that do not have a colorist to be able to work on it and they just have their editors and they work in premiere which is not actually color pipeline as opposed to davinci resolve the downside of that is was that you do not have a take back it makes you shoot like film like your choices are your choices which is also beautiful because i'm literally getting tired of being able to almost changed anything that you do not get to preserve your intent and your decisions but with the update of the raw what that now means is that you can take these your custom lots that you've actually created for whether whether they're film emulations or whatever it is you've created that you can load up into your camera now they can now become your viewing lot but you still have to be able to expose and retain your creative intent right so the raw function now allows you to record um the um, data underneath that will not have the lookup table baked into the file while your viewing um file is actually displaying your lookup table so you could actually create create a lot that's two stops on the expose for example if you're shooting like dark scenes which will force you to over light which if you're using the normal um, um 709 available on the camera it's a little bit very shy and not as aggressive but with such kind you'll be able to keep cleaner shadows in your blacks and it just opens an amazing door what this means is that you could take your c500 mac 2 or your c300 mac 3 and actually match them up seamlessly with this function you could have and even your arrow 5c like for example hold on a second so we have like the arrow 5c and the c70 and this is how this is how they look like in terms of size i don't know if you can see them okay yeah there and that's how they look like in terms of size you can take these cameras and i'm not talking from a point of um that being your only camera or what that is i'm talking from the perspective of um we have different cameras for different situations i could set up my c500 or c300 to be like my main a camera the traditional that goes on sticks the larger build you get my c70 could be my gimbal build um my r5c could be my car rig but the r5c does not have c-log um 2 
So it, it's, it's now interesting because you could take that your lot and actually adapt it for the C-Log3 that's available on it. So all cameras will have the same viewing lot, the same call signs mapped to the tone of your dynamic range that you can expose maximum. And this saves you a huge ton in post when it comes to matching and creating your pipeline. Your post pipeline is one of the most important things after your lens choice and your light choices that actually happens in your creative process. And this could impact whether it goes right or it goes wrong. And nobody's talking about this and actually um, I'm hyping it up. We all hyping up the raw, but this is literally huge because you get to like design custom choices that you could actually light to. And what that means is that most times when you record raw and you try to grade it in post, it's almost like you're taking a, um, a huge lump of rock right and you're chiseling away the marble put the other rough edges until you actually carve out right as opposed to assuming you have the mold already right and you take concrete and pour it to fill the mold or cement or whatever it is that you, ha you have to use and pour it to fill the mold when you break the mold it comes out exactly as you intended not you hacksawing away so you can see how that process is more faster than traditional process it's all about being effective and efficient so i don't know if this has been useful to you you could give um this video thumbs up so it helps the algorithm share this with other people so i know that it's useful if you do want me to make a video on um making custom lookup tables and how you can load them to the camera leave a comment below and um let's see what how much you get so we can actually all allocate efforts in doing that we'll get to talk about the r5 scene in the video you get but for now until next time learn to improvise adapt and overcome thank you